Today I ask you to rise up in consciousness. See, when we have days where we dwell on the negative only, it serves to focus our attention downward. And it just zaps the God-given energy that we have been given and we can use. I ask you to look up at life, to, to raise your thinking and to raise your vision. And as you do so, you're going to raise up your entire consciousness. It is within your power to rise up in consciousness because you are one with God. And God will come through you and think through you and give you a true dominion over your day. Not a dominion over other people, but a dominion of being in authority over our own selves and our own attitudes. And sometimes we have to take the reins of our mind and bring back control. Paul tells us, do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So let us look past the world of appearances. Now what the Bible means by that is the appearances of what's wrong, the appearance of focusing on the negativity instead of the overwhelming good and the positive of daily life. Let us dwell instead on the perfect harmony of the kingdom of God within us and express that perfection in our attitude to our outer world. We can become masters of this and authorities of our lives by recognizing that time and circumstance are subject to the power of God. And we can claim our dominion as we allow God's power to reign supreme over all in our lives, over our thoughts, our tendencies, our 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 negative traits inside of ourselves, our habits, and allow that to take place in us is to allow it to take place in our lives, to allow it to take place in everything and every place that we go. May you rise up in consciousness today and may everyone around you Recognize this, that you're a new person in Christ. God bless you.